again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans. If you missed my video yesterday where I opened booster packs live at a pre-release, definitely click the i card up there to watch that video and maybe watch that one first before this one in a new window and then come back to this one. Uh, today, we'll open the prize packs I got from the pre-release. And the one I went to, it was $30 and you got the pre-release pre -release kit thing to start which had four packs and then like the bonus pack with a promo card and other playable cards and stuff. Okay, let's see what I all got. Click the eye up there. And then at the end of the tournament, which for ours was four rounds, at the end you got two additional packs plus a bonus pack for each match that you won. And uh, long story short, I went three and one, which means I got a total of five packs at the end. So in total for my pre-release, I ended up with a total of nine booster packs. So not too shabby. And if you guys want me to do an extra video, perhaps for tomorrow, uh, where I show you guys my pre-release deck and maybe do a uh, like tournament report of sorts and from the best that I can remember, which usually isn't super great, uh, how the matches and stuff went, please let me know in the comments below and I will consider doing so for my video tomorrow. I still haven't ordered a microphone and stuff, so the Deck Wizard, uh, Deck Wizard Monday series or whatever we end up calling it, uh, that won't be happening tomorrow yet, but hopefully the week after that. But anyways, let's get into these packs of Fates Collide here. Five packs. Hopefully we can find some more shiny goodness. And also, if you want to see more Fates Collide after this, in the iCard as well, you'll be able to find a playlist that has a bunch of other Fates Collide openings from partners of our network. So if you want to see more Fates Collide opened from more people than just me, definitely click the iCard and choose the playlist in there as well. So we got Solosis, Vullaby, Coffin, Minchino, Diglett, Kangaskhan, Kabuto, Shauna, which, slight spoiler alert, I got two of her in my bonus pack and two in the booster packs. So I had four Shaunas in my pre-release deck, which definitely helped contribute to me going three and one, because having that kind of draw in pre-release, even with the new format, still pretty powerful, and I had a Tierno as well. So definitely helped me keep a good supplement of cards in my hand and such, so I can actually, you know, do things. Our reverse is the popular steel slash metal, or whatever you call it, it's metal. Metal Lucario. Now, uh, I did not see this card yet in person. It's my first time doing so. It's got Mega Alakazam in the background there. That's kind of cool. I don't think I noticed that before. But anyways, 110 HP, it's a rare. First attack for 50 and one metal energy, vacuum wave. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. So it's, I guess, kind of like swift in a way, but anyways, the main attack here though, for a metal and a colorless, fight alone does 30 plus. If you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, this attack does 60 more damage for each Pokemon fewer you have in play. So most extreme situation, if this is your only Pokemon in play, and there's a Sky Field in play, and your opponent has eight bench, that's gonna do eight times 60, that's 480 if my mental math is right, plus 30. So he can do 510 damage for two energy without even factoring weakness, resistance, or any tools and stuff, you know, such as like muscle band and stuff. So very powerful potential. Um, obviously, once it comes out, your opponent's going to realize that and not keep a very full bench if they can help it. But definitely going to probably see some play in some way as it can do a lot of damage for not a whole lot of effort or whatever you want to say. And the rare of the pack is a superior, which seems kind of weird to me seeing these stage twos as non hollows. Usually, the starter Pokemon stage two forms use their hollow rares, but in this case, they're not. Coil and Slashing Strike. So I'd say the Reverse Lucario, definitely the highlight of that pack. So let's keep on going here. I'm sorry I took so long there on the Lucario, but you yeah, know, I, I try to make my first openings of each new set kind of more informational for you know competitive players and stuff like that, just to give my two cents. Some of you like it, some of you just want to see the cards, teach their own. Can't please everybody in every video, but I do the best I can. We got Fennekin, Carbink with Safeguard, Deerling, very cute. Minchino again. Bronzor. Dugon. Seems a few cards here that I had in my pre-release deck. There's the reprinted and supporter card. Did not get that in the pre-release. Had it used against me once, which I will explain that in detail, as it was a very interesting uh, match. If you want to hear a deck profile tomorrow, let me know again in the comments below. 
We've got a Helix Fossil Ammonite. Praise it. We've got a Car Bank Break. There we go, our first Ultra Rare of this opening. 110 HP, and of course can break Evolve from Carbink, which has Safeguard as we showed you. And the attack Diamond Gift does 20, and attach two energy cards, doesn't say basic, attach two energy cards from your discard pile to one of your fighting Pokemon. And since it doesn't specify basic, that means you can attach two strong energy, or strong energy and double colorless, whatever it may be, so you can really power Pokemon really quickly with the attack. Obviously 20 is not a ton of base damage, but if it's got a strong energy on it and a muscle band or something, you're already at 60 right there for one energy, so it can still do some decent damage. And again, as you are going to evolve from Carbink with Safeguard, EXs can't damage it, so that definitely helps it stick around as well in a lot of matchups. So, might see some play as well. It's definitely got some interesting potential. And then the rare is a Grumpig with head walking and knock back. Let's stick this carbink break in a sleeve and let's continue on here with a Delphox break pack art and the previous one there came in at Malk Mega Alakazam pack art, which is actually the pack art that we got our ultra rare in the pre-release as well. Yes, if you didn't do as I said and watch the other video first, we did get one ultra rare in our pre-release packs and as I just did, it came in a Mega Alakazam pack art. Small sample size, but early indication for me is that uh, Mega Alakazam pack art packs all the goodies. But anyways, we've got a Burmy, Coffin, Meowth, Larvitar, Diglett, Poopitar, Wormadom, Loudred, Reverse Larvitar, so two Larvitar, and a Poopitar, one pack. Can we get Tyranitar as well? No, we got a Hollow Mew with the ability Memories of Dawn. This Pokemon can be that this Pokemon can use the attacks of any of your basic Pokemon in play. You still need the necessary energy to use each attack. And then its main, its only attack that it possesses, other than via the ability, is Encounter. Search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterward. Alright. Sorry this video is getting kind of long for the more packs it is, but obviously at the pre-release I had to go kind of quick because we're on a time crunch. And, you know, it's very noisy and stuff anyway, so it's easier to, you know, be more in-depth in this opening. And I don't want to be super, super in-depth in, like, my box opens and stuff, because there's so many packs, and I want the video to be an hour long. But hopefully, those of you who like the information of the actual cards are enjoying this. And those that just want to see the cards, don't worry. When we do a case opening and stuff, you see a lot of cards, and not as much, you know, uh, competitive talking or whatever you want to say. So we got Mancino, a different one than we saw in two other packs with a cleaning up attack, loves the spoons, Wismer, Schneidy Schnei, Fennekin, Jigglypuff, all right, Old Amber Aerodactyl, Wormadam, Random Receiver, Reverse Uncommon Halucha with Backflip, draw a card, and a Kabutops with Clean and X Scissor. All right, last pack, last chance for Glory. Here we go. Can we find anything extra awesome in our final pack here? Now, as you know, I do put the pull the cards. Yeah, pull the codes off, kind of off camera, as there are still two code designs, like with Breakpoint, which should help counteract scaling of packs, which is awesome. So, I kind of know what may or may not be coming up, uh, but you guys don't, since I do that. So, yeah, just saying, just saying. Anyways, we got Minchino, number four, I think, of this opening. Two of each. Catney. Solosis with shelter in the background. Bullaby. Whoops. Got a coughing. Alakazam Spirit Link. Mega Catcher. Catcher. Oh, I cannot talk today. Switch one of your opponent's bench Mega Evolution Pokemon with his or active Pokemon. Probably won't see a lot of play because lots of decks don't run Megas, which would make this just a dead card in your deck, so not very appealing. We got a Wigglytuff, who looks like very full, or you know, looks like he just had a big meal and is, you know, resting now. He's got the attack Expand, which maybe Wigglytuff had, had just done, and Double Slap. The reverse is a Solosis with Mini Link Attack. If Solosis is on your bench, this attack does 30 more damage, so it can do 40 for 2 energy, but has just that 30 hit point body, so not, not 
not gonna stick around very well. And the final card of this opening is a Barbarical with the ability Hand Block. If you have a Stadium card in play, your opponent can't attach any special energy cards from his or her hand to his or her Pokemon. Covering Bright gets around that though. So that is all for this five pack Fates Collide opening that I got as my prize support basically from my pre-release yesterday. And again, if you want to see the pre-release video and you didn't already see it, or you want to see more Fates Collide open up people in our network that aren't myself, my videos are in there as well, but if you want to see more Fates Collide, either way, click that I card and you can find multiple options of more Fates Collide related videos in there for your viewing pleasure. And if you want to see me do a deck profile trip report type video for tomorrow, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to make that happen for you guys. So, please subscribe, rock, smash that like button, visit our website where you can pre-order booster boxes, elite trainer boxes, loose packs, and more of Fates Collide right now. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you back here tomorrow for some more Pokemon opening goodness.